Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, diamond angelic archers of our new way dreaming. We have more powerful energetics flooding in through today's 522 portal. Our local Solaris released six more C-class solar flares and another trinity of M-class flares today, the most powerful maxing at M4.23 at 216 UTC, calling in the higher codes of our divine triple six of Christos Sophia consciousness, returning to Mother Earth and all her children of the sun. We also had major spiking in the heartbeat of Gaia again today on the Schumann charts at higher amplitudes of 60 and 64 hertz, fifth dimensional energetics fully anchored in and rising. We have the massive energies of tomorrow's full moon and Sagittarius flowing in to empower and encourage all starseed earth angelics of the 144, our sacred archers, to pull back the arrow on the bow of destiny and allow her to fly and hit its mark into your highest timeline of peace, abundance, joy, and prosperity for all our good people of the new earth. The doorway in between worlds is fully open now as we step through and through and through until full immersion of heaven and earth through our sacred heart centers. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful prayer of the woods. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. Now we continue with Divine Sister of the Light, Julia Arcturian Hathor Contreras. Every woman's, man's teacher is their own higher self, and when their life is brought under the control of reason, this higher self is released from bondage to appetites and impulses. They then become the priestess or priest, sage, and illuminator. And today from Divine Angel of the Light Vrinda, 888 Freedom Earth, emerald light glowing throughout inner earth and on the ground, never seen it so active. Big thanks to Agartha and the Ant King for their work blasting most beautiful high frequency from below our feet to raise vibrations for humanity. Beautiful family of light has been very busy in astral since last mega solar flares and clearing the core of earth. Many came out of long hiding. The attacks were strong. While I meditated in my heart center, I asked for solutions for this nasty, pesky spirit entities. I was given technology which they called electromagnetic plasma net, with lots of violet flame. Grand rising family, pyramids are calling. This means we're about to get supercharged and lift off to higher dimensions. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sophie Gregoire. Today's Oracle. You have recently embarked on a new journey. The change is uncomfortable, but beautiful, joyful, organic too. Not changing would be resisting such a strong flow of events. You are strong and capable. Deep down, the path cannot embrace that shift. You've had enough lessons. You've walked that road enough to know it has run its course. Each time you make space, you elevate. Keep releasing what's a no. Keep taking these little steps. They are propelling you into a world you had never been to. You are choosing yourself this time. Your growth is beautiful to see. From SophieGregoire.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Shay from Numbers by Shay Numerology. 522.24 Today has something to settle. It's a day of accountability and for balancing the scales for taking responsibility and truly seeing and accepting the present situation. Today is a master number 22-4, backed by an 8-day, backed by a 4-month, backed by an 8-year. The numerologists among us understand how powerful this is. 
You are your own authority today. You decide whether to keep your head down or stick your neck out. Both options are available, but don't give away your personal power to others or to your own emotions. Do move consciously, confidently, and with full awareness that whatever happens today, big or small, is right action. And today from Divine Sistarvalite Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athena, May 22 degrees, 2024, Message, the process of the hatched egg is opening another seal of the apocalypse. The great 6G aurora shower on the 11th of May was the manifestation of the main hatching opening, and the comet on the 18th was the antimatter arrow finding its target. The process is still evolving through different phases and points of the wheel and sphere, and it will soon be completed. You are going through a very special period. After this, the developments will be fast both for those in the ascending and the descending flow but especially for the true twin flames who will now be blessed with great liberation, clearing of the veils and negative interferences, correction, physical synchronization and union, and their upliftment to new positions, missions, and guided divine creations. As always, be aware of the cons and copiers who are referring to this development with big words without having a clue about what this is about and are misleading people. Remember to always ask Spirit to clearly show you who is who, including the people in the famous interview that many are impressed about in the last few days. Observe what is taking place around you these days and who is doing what. We have entered a period in which the difficulty of the spiritual tests has been increased, and it is very possible that many from the spiritual community will be deceived, as this is a free will choice. There are no words for the unprecedented energies of the first week of June. We will talk more on this soon. Blessings of clarity and discernment. Erini, El Mariana Anadi Miana, Ol A Christos, Hunama Anata Kumara, Yellow Galactic Warrior. And today from Divine Sistar the Light Aura 444. Particle acceleration of your hadrons. Specifically, your protons are transmuting density into light now. Purification through holy fire DNA activations on your God source angelic human template. This can be felt at the proton seed or creation within your high heart of your thymus gland. It's important to increase care to your holy template and increase support to your immune system. You are chosen to be here now. Serenade yourself in light so you don't feel density transmuting as Dracos get triggered when lights get this strong. So don't allow any gateways to your light so they can turn into vapor dust. Keep grounding to help stabilize the influx of light. Centering in the now as you are increasing dimensions, this can make one dizzy or lightheaded. Lemon or lime water, fruit, nature, meditation also help. Calmness will help any overstimulation of the nervous system. From density to light, we didn't come to play. We came to forge a light so strong it awakens humanity, breaks mind control, and aligns us back to the Christ stargates through the portal of the sun, reversing all Draco inversions. Soul embodiment in your pillar of light. The physical change in biology requires integration. The core of the planet is charging now, and Dracos are cloud seeding. Stabilizing and calming your nervous system helps breathe in light to yourselves, and give yourself peace. Allow to receive. Nature, meditation, lemon water, centering in the now, minerals, bring light to your body, mind, and soul. Connect to your soul through your heart. Align to peace and love through intention, and breathe this light into your DNA. From Divine Brothor of the Light, Pars Kute. Many energetic events are bringing fresh incoming energy to our planet. This energy contains a higher frequency that is inviting us to move to higher levels of consciousness and service. It is inviting us to rise higher on our spiral of ascension while being of service for the highest good. 
when higher frequency incoming energies arrive an assimilation process occurs with our current personal energy field the new energy is being incorporated into our current energy field the new energy may contain expanded awareness and a higher level understanding of existing concepts this may lead to an examination of previously held energetic patterns this awareness invites us to examine which patterns are compatible with the new energy and whether we wish to make any changes in our personal energy field many aspects are part of our personal energy field a major aspect of the higher frequency energy is divine love this is the overarching frequency of the incoming energy it encompasses all that is when we focus on our heart center and the divine spark we have a realization in knowing that each being also carries this connection of oneness there is no separation all of creation is connected this understanding leads to a feeling of gratitude the creator has endowed us with many blessings we may wish to focus each day on our many blessings and express gratitude to the creator for this abundance kindness and compassion are closely related to love and gratitude when we are in a vibration of love we radiate this frequency to others we may express kindness through a smile or an action such as holding the door open for someone with compassion we feel empathy for whatever someone is experiencing this is not a feeling of pity but rather sending the person loving thoughts and best wishes for what they are experiencing we understand what they are feeling without having our vibration match it instead we are sending love as we ask for the highest good in this process the higher beings can work with us to keep our energy field refined and clear because we are continually receiving new energy on our planet refining our personal energy field is an ongoing process remaining in the present moment allows us to recognize when our energy is changing and rising to a higher level we can be aware of subtle changes and make adjustments as desired we are now refining our personal energy field for the highest good within divine love of one pars kute and today from divine sister of the light natalia alba beloved ones as we continue integrating the massive stellar transmissions that are constantly descending upon our planet many of you may feel extreme fatigue and other similar sensations there are many physical sensations that we may have during the solar embodiment period that invite us to scan our bodies and see where we can create more balance and healing all physical sensations we may have give us a message from our bodies of what we need to address at this time many of you are undergoing chakra transfiguration monadic integration walk-in experiences and many other inner processes that may collapse the energetic channels of our bodies the amalgamation of so many energies is not an easy process to experience which is why my guide shared how we integrate the energies as it follows a unique and very exact procedure since we embody them in our bodies focusing on the fascia and how we can help build a stronger energetic system to feel more harmonic within this intense wave we are soon welcoming a sagittarian moon as a sign that precisely rules our bone structure our hips sacral region femur and the nerves in the sciatica and the lower back areas of our bodies that are affecting many of us at this time due to the many inner processes that we are experiencing as well as the embodiment of the current energies my guide shared the importance of going deeper during this time and utilizing the current energies which are a great source of life force and light healing codes to work on our fascia which is the one that precisely conducts the energy light into all of our organs and tissues fascia are layers of connective tissue that reside beneath our skin our largest external body organ 144 flowing in its function is to provide support to the muscles organs nerves tendons and joints it is a net that runs throughout our body and that is vital for our well-being 
In ascension, the fascia is in charge of sensors transmitting information through them, and hence to our energetic layers and subtle non-physical bodies. It is seen as a white net that passes throughout the entire body, and when we are dehydrated or do not take proper care of our body, it gets imbalanced, causing stiffness, feelings, and fatigue. This is vital for ascension, as its network conduits the energy in our body cells, providing energy for the mitochondria to process. If this is not working properly, the light cannot be taken to our DNA receivers, and hence we feel a lack of energy, and if we were to shut down, not receiving guidance, and feeling confused. Drinking plenty of pure water helps hydrate and restore our fascia, helping it transmit light and information into our body cells. If the fascia is damaged, guide shared, it is not possible to transmit the light, which is what is transformed in the form of guidance, and one of the reasons why many of you may feel so tired and lack energy. When there is soul disconnection, there is also damage in our fascia, for we are not receiving the light transmissions from our main organic source, our soul, monad, and God self, but from outer ones. And then we too create mitochondria anomalies. Ascension is above all working with our bodies, transforming, transmuting, and reprogramming them, so we can ascend while we are yet in a physical body. This is achieved through soul reconnection, daily healing, and clearing work. And beyond everything, simply holding a pure intention to serve our God self in all creation, fomenting healthy habits, and shifting those who damage our well-being. Acupuncture when the fascia is damaged, as well as any conductive energy therapy, silica organic drops, which work very well for our bone structure and physical symptoms, as they help in regenerating our tissue and collagen supplements which help us redirect the energy. However, if there is stress, unresolved inner conflicts, or any internal process that is affecting our emotional and mental bodies, nothing will serve you until you remove your pain and solve your inner wounds. For all begins from within. This year we are receiving wonderful energies to continue realigning to our soul and monad and reclaim our sovereignty as free beings in charge of our bodies and life experience. The more we focus on ourselves and personal healing, the more we neutralize our outer distractions, as they keep us from moving inward and connecting to our authentic source. I wish you a loving and rejuvenating passage, beloved ones. Take care of your precious selves. Within infinite love from NataliaAlba.com and today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144, God Code. The masculine mind is clear and ready to make decisions based on rational logic. No matter what concerns or emotionally charged situations may be, your ability to stay calm and centered will help you resolve issues quickly. Today frees you from your inner conflicts that keep you going in circles and chasing the wrong things. This breakthrough has come from a releasing of stuck energy in the root chakra. The emotions can now flow and be more calm, stable, and productive. This is also connecting you to your intuition better, so you can access solutions from the mind's eyes. 144. Continuing to pulse in. Activations are healing you mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, so you can live life in the trust, truth, and receive direct guidance from God's source. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn, from 144godcode.com. And today, from Divine Sister of the Light, Pam Gregory. Tomorrow, we have a full moon at 2 degrees, 55 minutes, Sagittarius, at 6.53 a.m. PST and 2.53 p.m. UK time. Where is this falling in your own chart? What is being revealed in that house? area of life for you. Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter has a lot to do with our sense of meaning in our lives. Do you feel you have enough meaning in your life? How could you get more meaning? Are you feeling the urge to travel more, Sagittarius, in order to find that meaning? 
Are you still content with your beliefs about the world, which are likely to come under scrutiny under the light of this full moon? As more and more truths come to light, such as the contaminated blood scandal in the UK, which is now coming to light forty years later, this may affect people's belief systems and world view about how the current structures operate. This trend of revelations, which will continue all year, may feel destabilizing for some. At this full moon, Jupiter, the ruler, is conjunct Venus at 29 degrees Taurus. See where this falls in your own birth chart, as often this can bring some success, recognition, or abundance for you, or just feeling that you need a day of total indulgence. Taurus rules the senses, and Venus is the ruler, expanded further by Jupiter. Another aspect of Taurus is precious metals and prices, for these have spiked in the last week as the sun came to conjunct Jupiter and Taurus. And as this conjunction with Venus is at the anoretic degree, the last degree of Taurus, we may see some changes in those again. What we value in our lives, Taurus, may be going through a radical rethink in light of shifting belief systems and a search for more meaning. Jupiter entering Gemini for a year on May 25th will change the energy again to something faster. You are likely to feel more social, wanting to connect with others, but also aware of an increased torrent of information coming at us from social media. Keep dropping into your heart to discern what is true and what not. With Pluto and Aquarius until 2044, we have an increasing amount of head mental energy so we need to be disciplined in living from the heart, as this is where our sense of center and peace lies. We will certainly need to find more ways to find peace in the coming months. Mercury comes to conjunct Uranus on May 30th at 24 degrees Taurus. This can bring more sudden surprises and shocks in the news, but is a wonderful day for new ideas and seeing the world with new eyes. In fact, being open-minded and seeing the world with new perspectives from the eagle's perch is an excellent place to be for the rest of 2024. Stay calm, peaceful, and observant. Blessings to you all from the nextstep.uk.com and from Divine Angel of the Light, Wild and the Wolf. The Degree of Fate. There is something quite magical and mystical taking place at this upcoming lunation. The twenty-ninth degree is known as the degree of fate. It ensures we face lessons that we must learn so we can reach the next level of our soul journey. It is karmic and holds immense depth. The ruler of Sagittarius and of this full moon, Jupiter, dwells at exactly the same degree as our beloved Venus, both sitting at the anoretic twenty-ninth degree of earthy and stability blessed Taurus. This in itself emanates a magnification of abundance, a soulful and celestial blooming into the many facets of love and loving. This cosmic connection has us basking in the many nuances of fulfillment, of wishes being granted, of dreams that may have once seemed fanciful becoming a solid reality. To add to this quite serious magic, both Venus and Jupiter create a sextile to Neptune, at the very last degree of the entire zodiac wheel, 29 degrees of Pisces. This takes it up to a more elevated level again, as now we have some high key frequencies entering the picture. The blessings just got a lot more spiritual, a lot more spectral and metaphysical. The final degrees of Pisces, with its ruler Neptune vibrating at this karmic point, shows lessons learned of major concerns being turned and an acceleration in our evolution. Thank the star-filled heavens for Pluto, making positive aspects to both the luminaries. His expertise on transformation will be guiding us and quelling any fears that may surface. The path to where we are meant to be is paved only with trust and inner knowing. The nobility of Sagittarius's archer energy fits exquisitely into the picture of this full moon zodiacal chart. Guided by truth alone and one's internal compass, we can know that any mistakes are a pure impossibility. Seeking ourselves is the highest form of enlightenment. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Colleen Lemma.
on wednesday may twenty second we have beautiful venus ruler of love and resources approaching a connection with expansive jupiter planet of good fortune and new horizons both in manifesting taurus they will come together in harmonious exactness at four twenty nine a m thursday morning so take advantage of the auspicious energies both today and tomorrow jupiter is known as the great benefic and venus is known as the lesser benefic meaning they are both known to bring blessings into our lives and they are in earth sign taurus which helps to bring our goals and visions into form on this third dimensional plane of reality one more thing they are coming together in the last degree of the sign of the bull the twenty ninth degree which is known as a critical degree in astrology where everything will be magnified so what would you like to create and manifest in your life taurus does ask that we do something tangible to assist in making that happen plant a seed send that email make that phone call take that action let's see what abundance prosperity or opportunity show up the full moon at two degrees sagittarius is upon us are you feeling it the energies are expansive and intense full moons are about a culmination of energy a completion of a cycle a release of what we no longer need with sagittarius we are letting go of self-judgment and judgments towards others in our life we are releasing fears and anxieties about stepping into our truth our freedom and our purpose sagittarius energies want us to liberate ourselves and step into optimism enthusiasm and belief that we can do be and accomplish anything do you believe this full moon will sextile pluto planet of transformation and regeneration and jupiter the ruler of sagittarius has just gone into gemini for the next year so new ideas abound this is a powerful astrological event do a ceremony or meditation and visualize what you want to let go of and what you want to expand into blessings of love and light to all from sacred soul empowerment dot com and today from divine sister of the light leah whitehorse sun in gemini trying pluto retrograde in aquarius yesterday's tensions fall away to be replaced by a stronger sense of purpose for some this is a burning desire a passion project a powerful urge to take control of your life choose to change says pluto choose to see yourself in a different light especially if fears have eaten away at confidence you have all this power at your fingertips all this energy all these unique ideas let others see who you are be the light shining in the dark find your place find your people old friends new friends internet friends community ties there is power in connection strength in numbers be a friend to yourself as much as you are a friend to others to catalyze metamorphosis purge all that you no longer need shed the layers to reveal your brilliance embark on a path of self-discovery from leahwhitehorse.com and today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 214, White Rhythmic Wizard. Rhythmic is the name for the number six, and its keywords are equality, balance, and organize. We are now on the sixth day of the Red Moon Wave Spell, with its agenda of going with the flow. Day six is always about getting practical and organized, a bit tricky within the context of flowing. How does one organize and relinquish control at the same time? Well, it's quite easy, really. Get yourself together and take care of the necessities, and this will restore balance in your life, allowing you the peace of mind that will enable you to relax. Today is White Wizard, which represents enchantment, receptivity, and timelessness. The wizard is one of the most elusive and mysterious characters in the Zolkeen. People born on these days are very complex and hard to get to know. Wizard energy enchants us, and we all can fall under a spell on wizard days. This can lead to very profound experiences, or this can also lead to dumbfoundedness. Do not be surprised that by the end of the day, you have no idea what just happened. The guy today is also white wizard. This means we are doubly enchanted today, and that means things might get a little weird. But hey, some folks enjoy being whisked away down the rabbit hole. 
and today from divine sister of the light Christina Papa Giorgio, white rhythmic wizard, six ish, keen two fourteen, twenty second of May twenty twenty four, organizing and chanting flow twenty two five twenty twenty four equal four five eight equal four thirteen equal four four equal eight day codes twenty two architect of peace master builder four form structure foundation earth angelic eight infinite abundance source flow month year codes five freedom liberation change transformation movement eight infinite abundance source flow Thirteen goddess cosmic consciousness natural lore synchronic time four form structure foundation earth angelic two twins partners cooperation alliances duality twenty the awakening clear vision twenty four charisma happiness healing joy keen two one four equals seven mystic magic spiritual solitude a magical day for creating more balance in our world Day six in the red moon wave spell of the goddess who is enhancing our intuition and sensitivity as we purify our vessels in order to find our natural flow. Today we are organizing for more flow through balancing the flow of giving and receiving in our life, allowing for more joy, prosperity, and wellness to flow. Tone of creation rhythmic, tone six in the physical realm. Action balances, power organizes, essence equality. The rhythmic phase is the one where this all-adventuring and radiating miracle that is you learns to walk but consciously, precisely, with fine organizational instincts, and what superb balance we see. Very soon you have mastered walking and are up and running. Go forth and explore your territory. Today is a great day to find balance in your physical reality and body by becoming more receptive to the endless flow of timelessness bringing endless opportunities and greater potential. We are organizing our physical reality for more balance and equality, and especially our financial reality. The rhythmic tone is the feng shui tone. We have a fantastic day for spring cleaning, decluttering your house and space, organizing your office, channeling ideas, journaling, or reflecting on your dreams and desires. It is time to allow your enchanted seeds to sprout and flow through you, bringing them forth into your physical reality. Today's question is, how can I organize my physical reality for greater balance and equality, opening to a greater flow of magic in my life? Am I focusing my magic on my divine destiny path, divine blessings for enchanting miracles to bring balance and greater flow into our world? In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 214, White Rhythmic Wizard. The mantra, the code for today is I organize in order to enchant. Balancing receptivity, I seal the output of timelessness. With the rhythmic tone of equality, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So we're very grateful for each and every one of you that continue to support us with monthly pledges and donations. So if you'd like to help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you could either make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com or a one-time donation to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at eaglelovecondor.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a very powerful prayer of the woods. I am the heat of your hearth on the cold winter's night the friendly shade screening you from the summer sun, and my fruits are refreshing draughts, 
quenching your thirst as you journey on. I am the beam that holds your house, the board of your table, the bed on which you lie, and the timber that builds your boat. I am the handle of your hope, the door of your homestead, the wood of your cradle, and the shell of your coffin. I am the bread of kindness and the flower of beauty. If you love me as I deserve, defend me against the fools. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and sacred, powerful full moon in Sagittarius tomorrow as we continue our journey through the Ascension Portal and into our new heaven upon the new earth. 144. Continuing to blaze in. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.